Michael Buffo. That's how you say it, last name. Buffo, yeah. Buffo, it's not Buffo. No, it's not Buffo. It's okay. Buffo. Okay. But I think my Healy uh, alias is Buffo Moves. Okay. I like your last name. But I'm over 18, so I can use my real name. My first pair of Healy's was the first pair of Healy's, uh, Shredders. They came out and they were on the market for, I don't know, a couple months. And then um, I saw somebody wear them and I had to have them. It was like a... It's like an instant gut feeling. When runandroll.com was out, precursor to Healy Chad, there was no training guide. There was nobody who could tell anybody how to do anything. And everybody was coming up with stuff on the spot. People would, would come up with a trick and then give a name to it, and that became a name. The flawless super spin. Run and Roll was a creation for all the basic names of, of, of uh, on Healy's, all the tricks on Healy's. From crab to, uh, to switch to uh, push staff, you know, to all the basic trick titles came from Run and Roll. I wrote the first training guide for Healy's. Uh, on runandroll.com. Uh, someone wrote a training guide, but it was very brief and kind of incorrect and and incomplete. And so I replied to it with a long post about it, and then they put it up as, a, as the new training guide. And uh, I covered the proper way to break, uh, which isn't healing, which isn't using the heel to break, but, but the toes and back foot. Uh, the proper way to go over cracks by lifting the, the front foot and if it's big enough the front foot and then the back foot some other things like that very very basic training guide definitely want to see a pro vert model. I don't think they have to do a major production, but I think they should make them available to at least the people who are on Team Healy's, the people that are pushing the envelope of what Healy's can do aggressively on the vert and street parks. Because they're putting a lot of money into, um, into pushing Team Healy's. Out, good flow, in, pass. Good, very good. The Mega Vert was a huge improvement over Fats. And the grind plate was such an innovative um, addition to the basic Heelys. I wonder if I can do it really smooth. See? That's the same with my friend. He's, he's not good enough. There you go. He's practicing. He needs wow, I love how I have to practice that and you hit it first time. I've had an idea from the very beginning of a Heely that I can wear with my suit. The, I want to call it the executive, you know. It'd be all black, you know, black leather with nice laces, but it's got a wheel. It's got a very basic fats wheel on the back. So I want to see the executive, and I want to see the pro skate. And then by simply shifting your weight to your heels, you're rolling. Heelys. It's all about the wheel and the heel. I think Heelys gets a bad rap for injuries because authorities make the mistake of categorizing Heelys as a shoe or a toy, and then they don't, ex and then they ex don't expect their kid to fall down. So they're, they're saying Heelys are dangerous because they're expecting them not to be dangerous. <laughs> but all of us, I mean, we don't fall down very much anymore because we've got good at them. And well, we're not trying tricks and stuff, we never fall down. Same thing with any other sport. How many bicycle riders? fall down on their bikes after getting good. Or rollerblades. I think Heelys should really strive to prove that they're not a toy and that they're, um, they're a means of uh, locomotion, that they are a skate shoe.
you know, like their their own thing. It's like it's weird. I mean, what do you do? It's a it's a it's a wheel and a shoe. So is it a, is it a shoe or is it a rollerblade or something? You can't even say is it a shoe or is it a whatever because it's like something else. It's something new. He is mine. <laughs> Well, he's, he's, he's this, like foundation for, uh, I don't know, five or six different characters. What? Shall I stab him as he sleeps? No. He'll say to his <coughs> cowardly way. Full on productions, professional level productions. My favorite role was Parolis in All's Well and Ends Well. Shakespeare wrote in that he's wearing all these scarves because that's the fashion of the times. So I'm tied all these scarves all over me, my knees and my neck and on my wrists and stuff. And I skate in on my heelys and the, 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 uh, the scarves float behind me. Save you, fair queen. And you, monarch. No. And no. Filming a film, finishing up a feature where my character is on Healy's, in fact, and um, we've got to finish this before I have to shave my head for another play that's happening this summer. Because, you know, once I shave my head, I can't do the filming because I won't look the same. That's why I have this little soul patch, too, because I got I to gotta look the way I did last year. Here comes both. On your way. Master, you say she's a virgin? Ho oh, ho, sir. Oh, we doubt it not. Master, I have gone through for this piece, you see. She has a good face, she speaks well, and has excellent good clothes. But? <laughs> What's her price? I cannot be baited. One doit of a thousand pieces. I'll have your money presently. <laughs> Follow me, sir. Wife, take her in. I want Healy's to to be more, have more practical purposes. It's less of a less of a, a slow rollerblade and more of a fast shoot. I want to see people of all ages wear Healy's in all markets. And people using them for all kinds of cool things. And to bring fun into everyday activities. Anywhere people can walk, I can roll. And when people see me, I feel like they see a connection that I'm enjoying myself. Walking. 